Welcome, Diamond Dogs. In this video, I'll be going over tips, tricks, and Easter eggs useful for beginners to the most experienced soldiers. There should be something here for everybody. Let's get started. Commencing Virtuous Mission You can fast travel between bases by using delivery points. Before you can use DPs, you have to obtain an invoice from it and any DPs that you'd like to be delivered to. Simply hop in a box and sit on the orange platform to select a shippable location. But be careful, rain can destroy your cardboard box. Luckily, the water-resistant cardboard box can be unlocked by collecting all invoices from DPs on either map. Using DPs are also the best solution to get around Mother Base, which is faster than Jeep or Heli. When you're out operating in the field, or doing side ops, instead of calling for a helicopter pickup, which can cost quite a bit of GMP depending on your helicopter upgrades, you can choose the return to ACC option in the menu. Before doing so, it is recommended that you make some sort of action that requires the game to save, such as staff restructurization, research, or combat deployment, so you don't lose any progress. If you've been afraid to upgrade your helicopter because of pickup costs, this is a viable option. You can also Fulton yourself out of the battlefield. For instance, when you Fulton a container, hop on top of it and press triangle when you Fulton to grab onto the Fulton so you don't slip off. You can also deploy as a Mother Base staff member by making them a direct contact. Playing as them in the field will raise their rank. You can also utilize their specific advantages to your benefit. For instance, one staff member with a botanist perk will increase your yield of medicinal herbs and plants out in the field. While on Mother Base, always make sure to have Venom Snake take a shower. It'll not only make him feel mentally and physically refreshed, but it also has a bunch of underlying stat bonuses that it grants you. You can also use Knock or Biolocation to have soldiers within the noise radius salute you, even if they can't see you. You can also interrogate Diamond Dog staff to reveal the location of diamonds on your base. Come back to Mother Base every mission or so to keep your staff morale high. To see where your staff morale is at, open up your iDroid and change your view settings. It's going to be triangle or Y on the console's PC, I'm not sure. But you'll be able to see what each individual soldier's morale is at by checking this bar next to the Diamond Dogs logo. It's a good idea to extract the legendary gunsmiths as soon as you can. Once you collect the third, you'll be able to customize your weapons. The side ops for them will appear after mission 13. If you aren't getting the side ops for any of the gunsmiths, complete the legendary bear and stun arm side ops. Weapon customization is too deep to go into in this video. However, if you have a sniper rifle developed with a suppressor, for instance, you can equip any sniper rifle with a suppressor, along with other customizing aspects. And that is huge! To use GPS while in motion, pull up the map on your iDroid and press triangle or Y. Again, not sure what it is on PC. This will limit you to a first person view mode, but it works and you can see your mini map in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also download the companion app on your smartphone, which is very useful. You can find cassette tapes in the field that host gameplay features. For instance, there's a uh, tape of a soldier shitting on a toilet. If you have your iDroid developed with a speaker, you can play that tape while hiding in a porta potty, and soldiers will no longer check it. Another tape is quiet, humming. If this tape is played while you're sniping, it'll steady your aim. Tapes like this are limited use, unlike other tapes, and they will break. You can return to where you found them originally if they do. If you're not sure where to find the zoo platform after its completion, while you're in the ACC, select Return to Mother Base, and then press Triangle or Y. Again, I'm not sure what this key is on PC. Here's a little easter egg for you. You know those wandering military Sans Frontier soldiers that you fold on? Head to your medical platform and go inside uh, one of the openable doors on the top floor. Don't Google it, just do it. If you're looking to build your ranks, soldiers who've been puppeted by skulls get service medals when full ton. If you eliminate all skulls in an area, the mist fading stuns everyone who is controlled. Easy extraction. You can farm this on the honeybee mission. Bring DD for spotting. The enemy forces in the Phantom Pain adapt to your playstyle. Getting a lot of headshots means they'll start filling requisition forms for helmets. If you like to stealth at night, say hello to night vision goggle troops. Enjoy going Rambo? Well, then they start using body armor and riot shields. Lucky for you, combat deployment allows you to dispatch staff on missions. There are certain missions which allow you to effectively counter enemy adaption by cutting off supply runs of these items to enemies in certain AOs. 
If you're a little confused on how to properly use Quiet as a buddy, aside from the usual L1 commands, like those of DD and D-Horse, you can open your iDroid and issue orders to her from the map by pressing up or down on the D-pad which allows you to cycle through tagging options. If Quiet is equipped with an unsilenced sniper rifle, she will alert guards. But this is not a bad thing since it doesn't count as you alerting them. Use this as a viable distraction. You can throw a smoke grenade in any vehicle and the enemy will not go into the alert phase when detecting presence. Kinda like when you're hiding on either side of D-Horse. Another good tidbit is that enemy tanks will not automatically open fire upon vehicles blocking their route, if there's a KO'd soldier within it. This makes for good ambushes. You can press the dive button while aiming down the sights to change weapons. You can hold up guards that haven't seen you yet by pointing your weapon at them. Once they see you, they should be startled enough to put down their gun and raise their hands. Fire! Finally, and this is important, if you feel like you are not done and would like to replay some missions, go ahead and have the butterfly emblem equipped and keep it equipped somewhere before mission 41 and definitely before mission 45. Without giving away too many spoilers, it basically just delays the inevitable. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for having such good taste in games. I hope you walked away with some useful tips from this video that you didn't know before and if you already knew everything in this video, well, you're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from a fan of the series. But if you did find it helpful, or at least entertaining, Lali Lulelo like the video. I, <laughs> that didn't even make sense. That was a bad pun. That was a bad. That was bad. Anyway, subscribe for more Metal Gear. Check out our gameplay series on it. Until next time, game massively.